Hey, this is Rod from Ram City, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 on this little guy, which is the Samsung SM951. Now, you can use this same procedure for the XP941, its little brother, and um, this applies to Z97 systems. So, I'm going to be using an ASRock Extreme 6 Z97. It's a little different for other motherboards, so uh, we've got a separate video for that for you, which you can check out here if you want to have a look at an X99 system. And the main thing is with this way of installing Windows is it's what we call a UEFI installation. So you will need to install Windows from a USB drive. So for that, I've always had good success with um, drives like this one from Kingston. I've got tape all over this one because I've got different business offer on it. And I've also got these little guys from SanDisk. So as long as you have a relatively new USB drive, you'll find this procedure will work perfectly for you. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do now is use a program called Magic ISO to create an ISO file for our Windows installation media. So you can do this with Windows 7 or you can do this with Windows 8.1. The procedure is the same. So just download Magic ISO uh, from the internet and I've got it already installed here. So all you need to do is start it up, put your Windows installation media in your DVD or CD-ROM drive and Go to the tools menu, select make ISO, choose your, if you've got multiple drives you need to choose the correct one, I've only got one so it's already selected, and then include the name that you want it to be, so I'm just going to call mine Windows 7, and the output format is UIF by default, you need to change that to standard ISO, and then you just click on OK, and away it goes. So here's our Windows 7 ISO file that's all ready to go. And the next step is we need to use Rufus. So once again, you can do this with Windows 8 or Windows 7, doesn't matter. So just Google Rufus, download it. It's just a single executable file. And I'm going to run that now. And um, you need to put your USB drive in uh, one of your USB ports. Now the partition scheme here, I've had a lot of different reports from different customers, but I find that the GPT partition scheme for UEFI computer works all the time for me, regardless of whether I'm going to the XP941 or the SM951, whether I'm doing Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, and uh, the file system FAT32 always works for me as well. And down here, what we do is we just need to select our ISO image that we just created. So we go into temp and we select the ISO file, we click on open and then we just need to click on start and that's going to destroy everything that's on your USB drive, click OK. Okay so that's our USB drive has now been created and we're ready to take that and put it into our machine and install Windows. I'm just going to boot this machine up, press F2 to go into the BIOS and I also make sure that I don't have any other storage devices installed. I've just got my XP, uh, my SM951 installed and you can, or just XP941 if that's what you've got. And just note the um, at the top of that main screen there, the UEFI version, so I've got version 2.04 which works perfectly fine. I don't have to change any other settings at all in this machine on the ASRock Z97 Extreme 6 motherboard. So from there I'm just going to simply reboot and press F11 as, the, as it boots up again, which will give me the boot menu. And from there we need to make sure that we choose the UEFI um, listing for the USB drive that I created. So I created a SanDisk uh, Windows boot USB drive and if I choose that one it will not work so I need to use the, choose the UEFI one and then just press enter on that and that'll kick off the Windows installation. And this goes through very quickly. So I'm just going to jump in and install Windows. So the procedure is almost identical for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. There's a few subtle differences. 
we're going to do a custom installation. And if you've got a brand new drive, you won't have any petitions, you can just go ahead and um, select next. But you see next is currently not an available option except for on that petition. So what I'm going to do is remove all of these petitions. To do that, you've just got to go down to the drive options and activate that and then you can then select the delete button. So we just go through and delete each of these petitions. Now all of our petitions are deleted. And we just click on next. And the installation begins. All right, so Windows is more or less finished. It's just done the first reboot, so we just have to enter in our um, standard bits here. I'm going to put the product key in. Okay, so you've installed Windows, should be up and running now, should be grinning from ear to ear because you've got a very high performing SSD in your system at this stage. Um, just a couple of things, one is any of the items that you've seen uh, in this video, obviously you can get from our website, so come and check that out. And if you've got any other comments or anything that you found that wasn't quite exactly the same as this video, well, help one of your other fellow users out and drop a comment in the comments box below. And thanks for watching.